Now, your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Temperatures already trending warmer than we were this time yesterday. Grove, you're 15 degrees warmer than you were this time yesterday. We hit highs in those mid-60s. Guess what? We're already there, so we're going to continue to climb. So we are tracking a warmer day that is in store. Current temperatures, very pleasant. Live look on top of that. We're seeing plenty of sun, people getting out and about. A lot of windows down. A lot of people enjoying this warmer weather. 65 here for Tulsa. Southeast winds remain with us. Those will start to pick up this afternoon. Periodic gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour, and that's going to boost those temperatures, yes, into those 70s. Keep a close watch on those humidity levels with some concerns for some uh, fire danger in the area. So this afternoon, I'm just going to recommend that we uh, do not do any outdoor burning. Just limit that or keep it controlled if possible. Otherwise, find other ways to enjoy outdoors. Maybe go hit the back nine. 69 degrees by 1 p.m. Climbing into those 70s. Again, we'll keep that breeze around, but nothing that will be a hurting your game by any chance. We're keeping those temperatures highs today in those mid 70s in a lot of locations. How about 75 down in McAllister? We're seeing 74 right here in the metro area, 74 uh, for Stigler as well as 75 down in Poto. So unseasonably warm. Our seasonal average should be in those mid 50s. This evening, we'll stick around with a clear sky. We'll get a few high clouds passing through, staying dry. Cooler conditions as we head into the overnight with those lows holding in those upper 30s and even those lower 40s a little bit better. Over in Stigler to Poto, I'm going to stand over here so you can see these numbers in those 40s. Very impressive. And that's because we are tracking a cold front that will be driving in. This is for today and to tomorrow high pressures and control. Watch this line, though. That is our next cold front that will be driving across, and that's going to knock our temperatures down from these unseasonably warmer conditions. With that, there will be some light showers. It's not looking to impact our area. It's mainly going to be in portions of Arkansas. Now let's play this out. Some clouds will be moving through. That's why those overnight lows and Stigler, even down into portions of McAllister, holding on the warmer side than what we have. Those showers will fire up over into portions of Arkansas. We look to remain dry, but we'll keep those north winds around and a few high passing clouds. Again, staying dry with those uh, with that next front that we'll be driving through. Getting the kids out the door, looking at 43 degrees for tomorrow. Not bad, right? But feeling like mid 30s. So wherever you put that coat, go find it. You can shed some layers though for the afternoon. Maybe a jacket will be needed. We'll keep those wind chills in those 50s for the afternoon with those north winds in play. Highs for tomorrow, noticeable drop, but seasonably appropriate. So that cold fridge is going to knock us down to more seasonably appropriate levels. If you're looking for some more rainfall in the area, wondering when that's going to occur, it's looking like the second half of the weekend. we got a 60% chance for those showers to fire up. All in all, these temperatures looking mighty fine. Mike? All right. And